Hello and welcome to Panther of the Geeks. This is an unboxing video for the Adeptus Mechanica Scutari box. There we go. Can we see that on the camera? So you can see the range on the front and the Vanguard on the back. There they are. So let's get this box open and have a look at the models inside. Mm -hmm. That was forced to buy. Forced? I didn't force it to buy. Oh, we're not all. So, okay. So we get a transfer sheet with some depth mechanica symbols on. There we go. There is another one that's separate as well that you can pre-order as well. I think it's got more symbols on than this. Mm. But you do get one with it, so it's pretty yeah. good. The constructions, regular sized rain bases, and I wanted them. Which we lost saw Broodlord on. I was going to say that, is that the same one that uh, yeah. Broodlord? I think it is actually. Mm. Yeah. So let's look at these sprues. Cool. See the cloaks on there? Yeah. Cloaks. The only thing I do like about this guitar is the weapons. The weapons are okay. case. They're so steampunk. Mm. Um, wood and brass. Very well detailed again. They're different. Sorry? They are different. Yeah. And there's the feet on that one, if you can see that one. That's one sprue. That's two sprue. So that one's got all the uh, close combat stuff for the the leader guy, I don't know what he's called. Over the bosses. <laughs> Head honcho. Head honcho. And there we have the heads. I think that's for the rangers. There we go. There's the rest of the sprue. It's a little higher detailed, so mm. we'll, uh, we'll get this together. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to build these as rangers. So um, we'll be back with you in a moment, and we'll stick we'll stick one of them together and show you that, and then we'll see um, see if there's any problems with the instructions or anything like that. Yep. Yep. So we're back in a moment. So please stay tuned. Okay. So construction. We'll start at the beginning, we'll start with the Ranger Alpha, that's the uh, leader's name, according to the book. So it looks like we have several options of weapons. Um, we have two heads, one that looks like a sand person from Star Wars. He does like one of the sand people. Yeah. <laughs> He's got all those like, little bits coming out of his head. Yeah. And then the one with the uh, sort of Ranger's hood, which is the one that I'll be using. Um, there's also several options though. Um, I have to identify what they are, but if we will start with cutting off of the legs, body, and backpack. Um, this is where I failed trying to find them. Cool. <laughs> um, consult the old white dwarf from last week. It shows you what weapons I can take. So the elf can take a melee weapon, there we go. See that there? Taser Gold, Power Sword or Arc Maul. 20 points. And we've got pistols there. Phosphorus, Blast Pistol, Radium Pistol and Arc Pistol. 5, 5 and 10 points respectively. So we'll be upgrading him to have some of these. So I'm just going to have a look and see what they do. So the Arc Maul. Plus two strength, AP four, melee concussive haywire. Taser gold, plus two strength, melee and taser. Taser being 
the roll at the top of this page. Which is a very Necron-y type roll. If I believe that reads very similar to the Necron Telsa weapons. Very similar. In fact the same I think. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um Phosphor Blast Pistol. I should show them now. Where's the arc pistol at top range 12, strength 6, 5 pistol and haywire? Got a phosphor blast pistol 12, 5, and 4 with lumogen or luminogen. Yes, yeah, so there's one or more on save wounds from glance of entry. It's covered by weapon with a special rule counts. Its cover saves as being one point worse than normal until the end of the phase. Furthermore, it can be rolled dice to determine the charge range against affected units. Alright, so you're like marking units with that. What's the other weapon? A radium pistol, which is there, which is 12, 3, and 5 pistol rad poisoning. So, a set of interesting weapons there. I think what I'm going to take. Hmm. Let's have a look at them. Because I'm, I'm not entirely sure what is best. The Rangers are more of a ranged unit, in my opinion. Looking at them. And the weapons. I mean. Can't find it, where is it? Weapons that they use, okay. Galvanic rifle. It's a 30 inch range weapon, so that's a very long range weapon. So we're going to be keeping these guys back. But to be honest, the close combat weapon doesn't really matter that much. But because it looks cool. I'll be putting one on. Um, simply, and the same with the pistol. The art pistol's range 12. Fossil blast pistol's 12. I think the radium one's 12 as well. They're all 12 inches, so. Yeah, I think perhaps the arc pistol, because it comes with hair wire, strength 6, it's a nice strong pistol. Though. 20 points. I'm sorry, 10 points. It's the Art Mall that's 20 points. As cool as the Art Mall actually is, I'm not going to give him that. I'm going to give him the Power Sword. I think that's where I'm going to go. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll go with the Arc Pistol. Although, the f saying that, the other two do look cool. We've got the red one there. And then we've got the one that looks like a Nerf. Strong arm. Well, it does. I've got a nurse strong arm upstairs. It looks just like it. Maybe we should give them the nurse strong arm. That's the Lumogen one. Actually, that gives them cover minus one to cover saves, I think. And you can light up a unit to be attacked by other units. That might actually make more sense. Yeah. And then I could give him the Arc Mall to use haywire against vehicles. Expensive, but cool. Yeah, so literally he is going to look like that picture though, because that's exactly what he's armed with. Though. Maybe subconsciously that's why I was going for it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. Decision made on camera. There's no logic or reasoning or stat crunching behind that whatsoever. Oh, so Claire's uh, stuck together the body and the coat. Our base might fall off. <laughs> the base might fall. Yeah. So it's just the backpack, is it? Uh, yay. How are we doing for getting them off the... Uh... There's a bit of a mould line though. That needs coming off. Yeah, I tried to get rid of that. I must have missed it. Sorry. Sorry, I can get that when it's dried. Um, so what I'm considering doing with these is actually converting them as well. So we're going to... Um, Turn them into dark mechanicum. A bit of a zoom in on this actually. Then you can see a bit better. 
So you can see the mould line there, we'll get rid of that using the old scraper roof. There it is. Just as soon as that's dried to its base. Uh, that's the head. That's the head. Wanted. Um, there he is. What was the backpack you said? What, what? It's number 58 on the old uh, chart though. 58. And we want 52 and we want 57. You don't seem to follow any logical pattern. He's Spirit. Well, the Omnisign knows the pattern, we don't. Well, I'm so glad he does. It'd be nice if you could share it with me. Scrape away that. Just so it's level. It's fell off. stuff on the bottom there. If the camera ever focuses on that, it's zoomed in quite a lot, that's why. There we go, so that's a lot smoother now. I think you can see it on the camera, it's a lot smoother. I just need to do the same on the other side, just there underneath the... Uh... I didn't do a good enough job. <coughs> that's basically what he's trying to say. No, you stuck it together. You need some so you want to... work done on around the clocks just to make them smooth. Didn't do a good enough job. <laughs> well, if you wish to interpret it that way, that is up oh, to well, you. that's what the one one zero zero one 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 zeros are coming out at. So it was fifty two you wanted, was it? Aye. And what was the other one? Fifty seven. Fifty seven. Oh, okay. The power claw that uh, mall kind of thing is that right? Big mall thing. Mall. Yeah, yeah. remember mall. Because this thing's the luminary thing, the Nerf. It is a Nerf gun. I hope not. Look that at would, it. That would be terribly embarrassing. Okay, so there it is, you've just seen, this pistol. There you go, you can look at that. There is a Nerf gun. Okay, so it's not exactly the same, but it uses the same sort of principle. <laughs> so it looks like it anyway. To me, it does. It's even got a little hook thing on the bottom, just like that does. So yeah, he's got a Nerf gun, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so the backpack, you can see it there, it's got mold lines along both sides. You can see it there, one there, one there. So that's going to take some scraping off. It's all the way down to that, that sensor thing at the bottom. Mm. Mm, very scaven. Yep. The mold lines all the way around, so enough to. Uh, okay, so there's the uh, Range Ralph together. You see there, he's got the Nerf gun. I still put a flash underneath that. I'll sort that out when it's dried. And the Arc Mall, there it is. So there's a lot of detail going on in there. There's lots of wires and everything. And there we go, there's the head swizzling around, and there's the backpack. So I am considering doing these guys as Dark Mechanicum, which will mean doing a lot of uh, weathering, shall we say, on the robes. Rusty coloured armour and then probably green robes. Mm -hmm. I think green might suit them to a dark green. I think green would be interesting. Mm. And instead of the mechanicum symbol, we might have a biohazard symbol on there. Whose idea was that one? That was Claire's idea. <coughs> Phil of Games Workshop Press and also added to some ideas. Yeah. Regarding the uh, Iron Strider, which you won't have seen yet, but uh, I've got one here. So there'll be a separate video on the Iron Strider. So what I think I'll do, I'll, I'll probably stick them together, as they are in the book, and I shall... I think it might be easier to do that, and then weather them later. I can get a better idea of what they're meant to look like, and what... and where they should be converted, I think. I think I'll do it that way this time. Sometimes when I convert things, I either build them then, convert them, or... to weather them down. 
or then I weather them before I stick them together. But I think this time I'll stick them together. Then you can see the unit together, and then we shall um, might do a conversion video separate, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Show you how I've converted them slightly. So okay, we should get back to sticking these together. And back with you in a second. Okay, so the next guy along, he either has an enhanced data tether at the top though, which means you should need to use a different backpack and arm, 73 and 71. Or the Omnispecs, which appears to be two versions of, which is 69 and 70, or 68, by the looks of it. I think we'll do the 69 and 71. That's pretty cool. And then you've got this... Um, Number 67 rifle over his shoulder. So we'll stick that one together next. Okay, so there he is. Omni Specs. Constructed. A bit of a. Uh, I'll need filing down there. And that'll need a bit of scraping done there when he's dried. There he is. I think that's pretty cool actually. Yeah, these models I didn't like. They're actually growing on me a lot. <laughs> I think maybe just the pictures didn't do them justice for me, but the models themselves, mm. they do look pretty cool. So dark mechanical or mechanical, I can't decide now. Also we got dark, should I just do normal? Hmm. What do you guys think? Put in the comments what do you think? Do you want to see me do a dark mechanical army? It'll be, it'll be um, a week or so before I get around to converting them I think, because we're quite busy mm. this week. And um, so if you leave in the comments what you think, whether you think I should make them as dark mechanical or not, please your suggestions as well. So we've already got the biohazard symbols, green cloaks, white cloaks inside. Probably going to go with a metal that's been rusted, rather over a brass colour. Mm -hmm. Initially I want to do brass and green, but I think we're going to go with a slightly rusty metal. Not completely rusted, so we're going to use a bit of corruption on there, some riser rust. Um, then very steampunky type weapons, standard sort of colours. Um, not really thinking about whether I should do the wood as like dead wood or not. Maybe that might be an effect. That would be quite interesting. Yeah, sort of a rotting dead wood as mm. opposed to the steampunk sort of nice, and clean. nice clean look. It's a thought. <clears throat> of course next week the codex will be out so there are some other options for painting in there as well. So. The final decision might be made next week when the codex comes out, which we're getting because we've advanced ordered it. And the cards. And the cards as well. Apparently the cards are online. Online only, online. Eh? yeah. Mm. So, we should be back in a moment with the next uh, guy on the list, which is this guy. There he is, there's the parts you need. 84, 74, 75 and 76. And we're going to give him this big bad boy. It looks like a Giselle to me. That's what it's actually called. The Giselle's on the walker. But that looks like one too. It looks like he's stolen it off the Skaven. She's a good guy with a big shield at the front of him. Sorted. <coughs> so cool. So we're back in a minute. Uh, I think it'll be the same. Uh, the, we've got the same flash lines up the side of the backpack on the last one I did. It looks like the same on this one actually. Yeah. The same. All the backpacks so the kit, seem to be here we pretty go, so like. badly... Yeah, it's just along the sides. Flash lines. If you use a little sharp knife, just be careful. You can do it if you're really careful with the scraper. But a little sharp knife just for some of the bits. Yeah. So, I should back with you with him stuck together. So here is the a massive gun. There he is. My advice different with this is to basically stick the gun and the other arm on. Stick them all together apart from that little stick. I won't try and stick that on because it actually fits. In. I've not actually glued that onto the gun, I've just glued that onto the base afterwards. And that way, there's no glue sort of in on that detail because it's quite highly detailed though. So, before you glue it to the base, stick it all together, get him onto the base, and then just stick it a little bit on at the same time. It was pretty easy. He's very cool. I do like that. <laughs> he, does, he does look awesome. There's some debate over how useful that handle is on the gun because of the centre of gravity. But when you look at long 
anti-tank guns from mm. the Russian army, at least. They do have handles on about, about there. I think that's a bit far back. Then again, this is fantasy. But this is fantasy and it's, it's, <laughs> Anything it doesn't goes. really come into it. <laughs> so, um, it's cool. It's very oh, cool. I like awesome. it. I like it a lot. What's so that called for you from having a bit of a conflab there? Yeah. Shoot that thing over there. Yeah, I can see it through my Omni Specs. Okay. Yeah, I like the way they're firing at me. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I hate you too. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Right, so we shall move on to the next guy. The next guy in this unit has these parts there. There we go. 85, 86, 87. So imagine we're going to see the same problems. The difference with this guy is we're going to put him together with an arc rifle. So those are the parts for the arc rifle. I'm not going to use the plasma carver. If you've seen my previous videos, you might know I'm not a fan of plasma weapons. Usually, anyway. So I see no need to blow up my own guys more than I have to. Um, so we'll get this guy stuck together with the arc rifle. And there is the guy with the arc rifle. Well, that's a really cool weapon, actually. It's the one that looks like a concertina. And there's Tony Stark's arc reactor in the back. <laughs> So, raining death of electricity by the looks of it. Cool. These are models that are growing on me very, very quickly, actually. Mm. Glad I got some. Whatever I said about them, I take it back. They're very cool. I just think they look better in... They're one of those models that in look person. better. In person. In person, as opposed <laughs> to just a picture. Yeah. Yeah. No, they do look cool, I must admit. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Right, so we'll move on to the next one then. Which is, as we're not having a plasma weapon in this squad, this guy here. So the rest of this squad are made up of rifles, as you can see there. So what we'll do, we'll build up the other six models. If there are any things I think I need to point out, I'll stop the camera again and record it. If not, I will see you again at the final unveiling. Ta-da! Ta-da! So that is all of the models put together. You see the six there with the uh, gravity ticket with the gravity rifles, whatever they are. Gravetic rifles. That's them. Galvanic rifle, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Too many gravity weapons in the game now. So galvanic rifle. And there we go. So uh, we'll cool. get we'll get used to them eventually. Um, there's a six of them. So let's show you this guy for example. Same things, the same probably the ones where the flash lines were. There's quite a little bit of flash that had to be cleaned up off these. Um, nothing massive, but it was quite easy to do. But there was there was lots of lines on them, on the guns as well as on the backpacks and on the sides of the robes and on the legs before you put them onto the robes. So that's the main places. Okay. So that is our first squad of rangers. For Mechanicum or Dark Mechanicum, whichever way we go. I'm thinking it's going to be dark, but I want to see what you guys think first before I make a final decision. I also want to have a read of the Codex when it comes out next week before I paint them. But if you want to see me paint them or convert them, if I do Dark Mechanicum, let me know in the comments as well. Let me know what you think of um, me showing you bits in between wherever we're putting them together. If you like that, I can do that in future videos. Uh, keep tuned for the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus Iron Strider video, which will be coming up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And other than that, what's Claire up to? Um, oh, I've just finished Bloodthirster. So you can see that on the showcase yep. we put up a couple of days ago. So if you haven't checked that out, please do. Yep. I'm now on my uh, Wraith guys, Wraith Guard. Or the... Um, yeah, the, the ones the Wrath that... Mongers. Wrath Mongers. Thank you. The Wrathmongers you're painting yeah. at the moment. Yeah. And Scar Blood. Scar Blood. Blood Flail. Flaily Wraith. So you also asked in that video what people should call. A Scar, uh, yeah. To oh. the uh, oh, Bloodthirster. Me. Bloodthirster, yeah. So if you've got any names for Bloodthirster, please uh, feel free to comment. I went for Axie Musclebutt since uh, <laughs> we've got 
since um, we've got Scar Woodruff, I think Axie Muscle Blut, uh, muscle blut <laughs> sounds good for because uh, the muscular. You yeah, can see his arse and his back. back. So yeah, uh, fair enough. Uh, so if anyone's got any, uh, you know, anything else other than that, please feel free to comment. I'm not sure you'd want to be called that. No, I doubt that. So someone will come up with a better name than that, I think. Yeah. Um, and next week we've got the Skatari rulebook mm -hmm. uh, codex, and we've got the cards, yeah. and probably the new miniatures as well. Hopefully. At least one box set, if not two, to do both variants. We shall see what mm -hmm. happens. Um, but please stay tuned. Please um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're also playing Star Wars Armada. We are indeed. Yes. So uh, keep a lookout for our Armada videos coming up. There should be the unboxing there already mm -hmm. on our channel, and we're going to do a, a learning scenario. Yes. Well, and then we'll probably do another scenario from the book as well. Yeah. Uh, well, use the cards for scenario, should I say? So, so we're, cool. we're learning that at the moment. So we're learning that. It seems like a pretty cool game. It does actually. It does, yeah. I'm impressed. I didn't think you'd like it. No, I didn't so, think yeah, I'd like cool. it, but yeah. So thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, thanks for watching. So there's nothing else really to tell you in that. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out loads. And bye for now. Bye for now.